Living in Florida has many benefits, one of which is access to amazing ingredients like this gorgeous grouper. Today we're going to elevate it by making my grouper en croute with a delicious pearl onion and garbanzo ragu. It really looks fancy and complicated, but it doesn't need to be. It's super easy and it's a fun dish for you to prepare at your own home. I'm Jeff Philbin. I've always loved to cook with bold flavors, fresh ingredients, and I even competed on TV for the title of America's Best Home Cook. I've learned a lot over the years, and now I want to share some of my recipes with you. This is Flavored by Flame. The base to this dish is going to be a roasted potato chip. And what we're going to do is we're going to take baby potatoes here and we're just going to let them live right on our pan. We're just going to take a few, some olive oil, a little salt, a little pepper, and we're going to put them right into our oven at 400 degrees. While we have the potatoes in the oven, it gives us a little time to actually work and prepare our puree. So we're gonna add some watercress. We've got some leeks, cherry tomatoes, pecorino cheese, some olive oil, a little bit of garlic. And now it's ready to blend. Perfect. Now that we've got our puree done, let's turn on our gas burners and get this pan hot. So we're gonna start off with our garbanzo beans. Our chorizo. Right before it starts to really toast up, I'm gonna add in our pearl onions. Now that I've got the big three that needs to make this dish, let's season. A little salt and a little pepper. Now I can go straight into this grouper. When you're cooking, you wanna make sure that you take advantage of all of your space and you work accordingly to the environment that you're in. Now, it could be a little bit boring if we just went straight in for our flour, our egg, and our panko breadcrumbs. That's not what we're gonna do. We're gonna add a little bit more flavor into that breadcrumb mix. Italian seasoning, pecorino cheese. I'm gonna just mix all of those ingredients together so it is all well incorporated. Working with gas allows me to see the flame. It allows me to see temperature. And as a cook, that's what you want. You wanna know what you're cooking with. So I'm gonna take this beautiful grouper caught from the Gulf of Mexico flour on one side, egg, panko breadcrumb, and just let that all come together. The pan is nice and warm. Olive oil into our non-stick pan. We've got the pan up to medium high heat and we're gonna cook the crust side for about four minutes. It's been four minutes, so we're ready for that flip here. And look at that beautifully golden brown in that crust. Now it might take a little bit longer on this side, so maybe about six minutes or so. Let's start plating. We've got our potatoes that are just out of the oven that we're gonna place right onto our plate here. And we're gonna just put them where we want them to be. And I only want the ones that have a nice golden brown to them. And now, we can have a little bit of fun with this garbanzo ragu. We're gonna just let that dance right in the center. Get some of those pearl onions into the mix. The garbanzo beans, that chorizo sausage. Our fish is perfect. It's firm to the touch here, so I know that it's cooked and it's ready to go. 
just take that, place it just on top like so. And we have this puree that we're just going to put into some of the little pockets. Like so. We get to celebrate one of the jewels of the Gulf of Mexico with our Florida caught grouper. You want to impress some family and some friends that are coming over for dinner? This is the dish you want to do it with. To watch full episodes and learn about available rebates from Tico People's Gas, visit peoplesgas.com slash cooking.